So this Thursday, December 12th, is the Game Awards, and most people are thinking we will probably get a Super Smash Bros. character revealed, our fifth character for the DLC Fighters Pass. In the lead-up to this, we've had a lot of characters deconfirmed, mostly by Sabi and Virgiben. Yesterday, Virgiben came out with this gigantic list of even more things that they're saying will not be the fifth DLC character. It says, I went back and forth many times on whether or not I should share this yet because I was hoping for anything else since it left me speechless. But it's too crazy to keep to myself any longer. The source wouldn't get specific, it seems they can't, but they did say that none of these characters mentioned are Fighter Five either. Capcom characters, Sega characters, Konami characters, Arc System Works characters, Spike Chunsoft characters, Marvelous characters, Epic Games characters, Zun, Bethesda characters, Koei Tecmo characters, Activision characters, Blizzard characters, another Microsoft character, another Square Enix character, being a Nintendo character, being an assist trophy promoted to being playable, or being a spirit promoted to being playable. Virgiben said that they were absolutely speechless at this list, and I think it left everyone who read it speechless. I mean, this only leaves like a couple companies, Sony, Valve, maybe indie companies. There's not much left if this list was to be believed. Sabi was very clear to distance themselves from Virgiben after this post, as Sabi's deconfirmations and Virgiben's deconfirmations are sometimes lumped together, but Sabi is saying that they have nothing to do with Virgiben's source or any of their deconfirmations. They are entirely separate things. With very few characters left on the table, if all of these deconfirmations were to be believed, a lot of people were starting to question whether or not Virgiben was right. And actually, it looks like Virgiben wasn't right. Hours later, they followed up with this post. By now, you've probably seen this list of characters that I was given today that left me speechless and confused. And then they list out all the characters. There was an additional part to all of this in the message exchanged. I gave them that exact list and included names among certain companies as examples in parentheses. The response that I was given was, my source wouldn't get specific, but did say that none of the characters mentioned above are Fighter Five. The problem is there was a breakdown in our communication, which I take fault for. It could have been worded better. I should have asked for better clarification since that could have been interpreted wrong and was. They responded to me hours after I posted the list online and said, for clarification, the characters you listed weren't Fighter Five. Not that it isn't from those specific companies. That means just those characters I threw in as examples with mentioning companies are dismissed. Those companies are still in play, at least until further notice in the journey of the confirmations. Then Virgiben goes on to write all the specific characters and says, with that cleared up, the character is not from Bandai Namco, Level 5, Ubisoft, Falcom, Nipponichi Software, Gordon Freeman, Doomguy, Gino, Scorpion, Ryo Hayabusa, Arl Naja, Sakura from Sakura Wars, Crash Bandicoot, Tracer, Reimu, Cat from Gravity Rush. I apologize for throwing people into such a shocking chaos earlier, since even I was too after the list being completely deconfirmed, which is why I shared it in the first place. Unfortunately, it was misinterpreted. Okay, so Virgin taking full responsibility for accidentally making it seem like a lot more stuff was deconfirmed than they had actually heard. However, there's still something kind of off here. Virgin listed a bunch of characters and the companies they're from and just thought that the character and the company were both deconfirmed. However, they actually listed more stuff than they're now saying is deconfirmed. So something is off here about this whole situation. Over on Game FAQs, James Perot wrote, There are companies you mentioned in the previous post that you haven't listed a character from in this post. Like a Microsoft character, a first party character, or an assist trophy slash spirit that would be promoted. What is the situation with those? Since you said they were also deconfirmed before, but now haven't mentioned them. Could you clarify? As far as I'm aware, we still haven't gotten clarification on that, and honestly, the whole thing is a little fishy. I don't know how Virgiben is deconfirming stuff. I don't know anything about their source. I don't know if their source has heard who the character is. I don't know if they're going to individual companies or, or what. I really have no idea. I understand Sabi's deconfirmations. I'm aware of who Sabi's talking to, who is deconfirming it, who is saying that they know the fifth DLC fighter, and why Sabi is, you know, asking them about a certain character and then it getting deconfirmed. That all makes sense to me. Virgiben, I have no idea what they're doing, and to kind of misstep here and deconfirm like every company ever and, and not be clear that that's not what's going on, I don't I don't know what they're doing. So personally, I'm honestly going to stop paying attention to Virgin Ben's deconfirmations for DLC number five. Um, that's just me personally. If you guys still want to, you know, pay attention to it, that's fine. I don't think Virgin Ben is like 
you know, totally not worth paying attention to. They definitely have sources. They can definitely be right about things. But I don't know. After this whole mess, I'm just really wary of believing all this. So like Virgiben has put out a full list of all the stuff that they are deconfirming to be absolutely clear, Sabi has done the same. Sabi wrote, If what I heard is correct, Fighter Pass 5 is not Ryu Hayabusa, Crash Bandicoot, Doom Guy, Gino, Dante, Lloyd slash a Tales of Rep, Sora, Falcom Reps, and Nipponichi Reps altogether. Specifically backed Verge on this one. So for those of you following along with the deconfirmations, or now re-confirmations? I don't know, it's weird. Um, here's a full list. So in blue is the stuff that Sabi has deconfirmed. In purple is the stuff that both Sabi and Virgiben have deconfirmed. In red is all the stuff Virgiben is deconfirming. And then in green we have Capcom. Um, that was deconfirmed by Nazareth, who is talking to Sabi's Nintendo of America ambassador source. This is not the same source that Sabi's been deconfirming everything else with. Um, and Sabi said they were a little skeptical of believing that one. So uh, yeah, that one's a little strange, but I figured I'd mention it on here anyway. I will also add that I believe Tracer was also deconfirmed by both Sabi and the Nintendo ambassador source, as well as Virgiben. I just have Tracer under Virgiben. Um, so yeah, I guess she's pretty deconfirmed. So that's where we're at with these deconfirmations. Like I said, personally, I'm just gonna listen to what Sabi's saying. So I'm just looking at the blue and purple ones here. Um, that's just because I know who Sabi's source is. I'm trusting Sabi here, but um, Sabi's source isn't infallible. I believe they're a very credible person. I think that they probably know who the 50 DLC character is, but uh, it could be wrong. Because of Virgibin's back and forth now, I'm gonna kinda take everything with a grain of salt from them. Um, but that's where we're at with deconfirmations if you're following that stuff. Okay, next up we have a leak for the Game Awards that is actually getting some stuff right so far. So this was posted over on 4chan back on November 20th. It says, let's get this out of the way first. They're going to be focusing more on the awards show than the reveals. So expect like 14 reveals max. This is the stuff that I found interesting. The cult Super NES game Clock Tower is getting a remaster set for release in 2020. Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind is getting another trailer, getting delayed to January 2020. Shin Megami Tensei 5 is finally going to get shown off again after two years of waiting. The final character for the Fighter's Pass is Cosmos from Xenosaga. Then they reveal that four additional characters are being planned for 2020. A new game from the makers of Gone Home is going to get revealed. Don't know what it's called though. A pack of Vocaloid songs are going to get added to Beat Saber after the award show. Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to PC exclusively on EGS. Of course, this isn't all the reveals, but these are what you can expect of this year's award show. So the really interesting thing here is that a few of these things have actually started to come true. On Square Enix's YouTube page, a new trailer for Kingdom Hearts Remind was actually put up and then quickly unlisted. It did have the release date as January 23rd, which would fit this leak. Also, Horizon Zero Dawn getting a PC release was hinted at by an insider who also predicted the same thing happening for Death Stranding. This would mean that Cosmos would be our final character of the Fighter's Pass, and that we'd be getting four additional fighters throughout 2020. Not too far back, I actually did a video talking about Cosmos from another leak. And Cosmos does have some good stuff going for her. For one, she's a female rep, and it feels like we should probably get one in this Fighter's Pass. We have Kazooie, but I don't know if that's enough, really. We also have the whole color theory thing, and the next character's background color should probably be orange, and Bandai Namco fits orange, and Cosmos is a Bandai Namco character. We're still missing all of the Bandai Namco Mi costumes from Super Smash Bros. 4, so if Cosmos got in, this would be a perfect time to add back in the Hihachi, Lloyd, and Gil Mi costumes. Now, like I said, I did a video on Cosmos for another leak a little while back, so let's take a look back at that one. Way back on June 2nd, this was before E3, there was this post posted over on 4chan that has this image of a cat, and it got everything right. It was very specific about things about Hero, and it also had Banjo's internal code name right in the data for Smash, which is something that's really tough to get unless you were an absolute insider. Then months later, on September 12th, another post showed up on 4chan using that same cat image. It said, last character in the past is Cosmos. She's planned to release in early 2020. Reimu and Ryu Hayabusa are in, but early in development. They're supposed to be revealed after the end of the pass. I don't know if they're part of another pass or just drop randomly like Piranha Plant. Screenshot this, see you in 2020. 
Now, 4chan posts are anonymous, so it wasn't clear if this was the same person as that original cat image post. And I had actually talked about that original cat image about a week before this September 12th post saying Cosmos. So it could have totally been someone who just saw that and decided to piggyback off it, use the same image, and try to gain some ground for their leak. Make it seem credible by trying to look like they're the same person who posted that leak back in June. Well, now that it's lining up with this new Cosmos leak, potentially it was actually the same person as that original cat image, and they're totally right. Which would mean we're getting Cosmos, Ryu Hayabusa, and Reimu. This would also fit, of course, the whole I Am Shifty and Brew Elfin stuff about Ryu Hayabusa, and it would also fit that Reimu music leak. All that said, it seems Cosmos is now the frontrunner for who the fifth DLC character would be. Of course, that keeps changing, and it seems to change almost daily. Honestly, I thought Arl had a really good shot, like, yesterday. Before that, I thought Phoenix Wright had a great shot. Um, at the beginning of all this, I thought Ryo Hayabusa was almost a shoe-in, so it's tough to say if this is going to change again, but given what I was just talking about, I do think Cosmos is the most likely character to be our fifth DLC character, and probably who we're going to get on Thursday, but that is subject to change, because this seems to change every single day. Now I'm just going to make an absolutely wild prediction at what could be the full DLC if we do get Cosmos on Thursday. Putting everything that I've heard together, if we get Cosmos on Thursday, she would complete the first Fighter's Pass. That leak is then saying there'd be four more in 2020, and we have some leaks for Ryu Hayabusa that are also now linked to that Cosmos leak, and we have leaks for Reimu that are also linked to a Cosmos leak. So Ryu Hayabusa showing up next, and then Reimu shortly following makes sense to me. I also think that Reimu and Crash Bandicoot could be what happens at E3. That would be sort of like Hero and Banjo, where we get someone for the East and someone for the West. And Crash Bandicoot feels like a perfect rep to show off at E3. He's honestly one of the most missing characters as far as like big name gaming characters goes, and he'd be sort of the last big E3 character reveal I think they have in their pocket. The further into this I go trying to predict characters, the harder it is to make a good guess at it. But with the Malo Hat and Kako Demon Me costume leak, if that ended up real, then I'm guessing Doom Guy is probably in, just a while off. So Doom Guy could end the four characters we're supposed to get in 2020. And if that was the absolute end of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's characters, I could see us getting a bonus, sort of like Piranha Plant, but this time it would be Geno. It would be a spirit being upgraded, as Geno is a spirit in the game. Maybe even give us the Mii costume back, and then surprise the spirit enters it and bonus Gino. Um, it just feels like a great character to end all of Smash on. He's probably the last really fan wanted character with like a huge fan base, sort of like Ridley, K. Rule, and Banjo. So it'd be a great way to end it. And the fact that Gino has been missing from Mario for so long and the theme of Ultimate has been everyone is here, getting him finally back into the Mario series like that would just be huge and a great way to end on that everyone is here note. So obviously that's a completely wild prediction, but that's my guess. If we get Cosmos on Thursday, and Cosmos does seem to be the front runner at the moment, that would be my guess for kind of the rest of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate here. We'll see if it pans out. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Cosmos is now a lock for the fifth DLC character, or do you think it's going to be somebody else? Virgiben is saying there's no Bandai Namco characters, so if you're trusting Virgiben, it can't be Cosmos. Um, honestly, I'm thinking Cosmos is the most likely, but I will say the frontrunner keeps changing here, so I don't know. Will it change again before Thursday? It very well could. If you guys have any thoughts or comments about any of the stuff in this video, leave them below. So once again, Thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.